Hey guys, you World with Andrew here. I'm continuing my Christmas reviews this year. Now here's my review of Batman Returns. <laughs> yeah, so I know this really isn't really this movie isn't really about Christmas, but it does take place during Christmas time, so yeah, that's why I'm including this in my reviews, as I said before. So Batman Returns, yeah. I really do like this movie a lot. This really is a good movie right here, yeah. It's almost as good as the first movie, but yeah, I still do think that the first Tim Burton Batman movie is better. Yeah, I really do like this, but yeah, this movie, as a lot of people know, it is kind of oh, pretty controversial because this movie, it was geared towards children, and this movie was really dark, yeah. Some people even say this movie may be a little too dark. Yeah, just because of how, like, violent this movie can be at some points. Like, especially what Batman does in this movie. I mean, Batman even commits cold-blooded murder on a couple of occasions in the movie. I mean... Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm so sure some of you have... No, th that some sponsors were pulling out from sponsoring Batman Returns, like McDonald's and some other places were when this movie was first released, yeah. But yeah, I really do like this movie a lot. Uh, yeah, I give this movie about 3.25 stars out of 4, yeah. And yeah, this movie, it really does have a pretty good cast. It has, like, Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer, Christopher Walken, and other people in it also. Also, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. It is a really good movie, so yeah, let me just get right into it. Alright, so the movie opens up with the birth of the penguin. When we see his parents, or his father is actually played by Pee Wee Herman himself. And then, yeah. And as he's being born, born we can just, like, hear his mother screaming as he's being born. And it was probably because of how big he was. He has this big, fat body. And, yeah, they have him locked up in a cage. And then, yeah, he ends up, like... Like, killing the pet cat by, like, grabbing him into his cage and killing him. And then the parents just throw him inside his basket over a bridge into the water. And, yeah, it just shows him, like, floating in his basket as the opening credits roll. And then, yeah, he then comes to a flock of penguins. Penguins have decided to raise him, and then it cuts to 33 years later in Gotham. Gotham, and it shows like everyone during Christmas time, like it shows like the lighting of the Christmas tree. Tree, so, yeah. And then it cuts to Max Shrek, played by Christopher Walken. Walken, he's in his own store having a meeting or something, and then yeah, later on there's a press conference with him giving help like a speech or stuff, until like, the penguin I guess sends some of his goons, goons like, that are just like circus gear and stuff to go out and terrorize Gotham, Gotham, and then they approach Selena Kyle, Kyle who is played by Michelle Pfeiffer, and yeah, Batman is then summoned, and then he comes, and then yeah, and then one of the goons is holding Selena Kyle hostage, and then Batman shoots one of his gadgets into a wall, then he pulls it out and part of the wall comes out and knocks out that guy. And then, yes, Selena then also took the goon stun gun before she left, yeah. And then as Max Shrek was trying to run off, he then all of a sudden fell down a trap door. Or, and he then... And then he just found himself in the penguin's, like, underground hideout or something. And then, yeah, he... Then he meets the penguin, and yeah, the penguin is just, like, telling Max Shrek that he just wants to know who he is, is what his actual human name is, and who his parents were, and he just blackmailed Max Shrek into helping him, because he knew about all the crimes that he committed before, or, like, the toxic waste, and all the, yeah, and all the, like, other stuff he's done, like the fire traps, that he had the documents for, or and he taped them back together after they were shredded. And he also knew about the 
him murdering his his former partner, business partner, Fred Atkins, and yeah, he had his hand with him, and then yeah, uh, Shrek th then agreed to help the penguin if he'd help him too. And then Selina Kyle eventually finds out about what Max Shrek is doing, and that he's planning to uh, build a power plant to drain in the electricity from Gotham. And then she comes back to the Max Shrek store. And yeah, I should have said earlier that some of this move, a couple of things in this movie really doesn't, really just doesn't make much sense, as I'm about to say, the saying right now. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, Max Shrek is just kind of like just toying around with Selina at first, and then he eventually just pushes her out of the window, and then she falls several stories to the ground, and then she supposedly dies, and then yeah, Max Shrek, what does he do? He just walks away from the window. I mean, seriously, I mean, he just committed an attempted murder, and he didn't even try to cover up the crime, and he was just gonna leave her there. What an idiot. I mean... Anyone knew that the cops were going to come and see the dead body, and yeah, yeah, they would have known who would have killed her, so yeah, but anyway, yeah, then a bunch of cats came down to Selena's body, and then yeah, they were just gathering all around her, and then they eventually ended up reviving her, and then yeah, she returned home, home to her apartment, and yeah, she just then and just absolutely snapped. She went nuts. She was destroying her house. Just to, like she was ripping up her couch and breaking her phone and stuff. And then she was defacing her walls and, and clothes and stuff. And then yeah, she ended up grabbing a black leather suit. And then yeah, she made her Catwoman outfit. Now, and then she became Catwoman. And yeah, and then later on, on during another other press conference or whatever or one of the penguin henchmen is sent to like kidnap one of the Gotham mayor's baby and he takes him down to the sewer and then yeah the penguin then saves the baby and then yeah just to make it seem like he's a hero hero and then yeah and then yeah it's televised on TV and the penguin is saying like he want just wants a chance from the people and yeah yeah, he wants to know who he is and who his parents are and all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, the penguin then goes, like, to the Department of Records or whatever. And then, yeah, he just goes through all the records to find out who he is. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, Bruce Wayne, and then, yeah. He was trying to find out who the penguin was, was, and if he can really be trusted. Thus, so, yeah, he decided to, as Batman, protect Gotham from the penguin circus gang, thing, because Bruce found out that the penguin was the leader of the circus gang that was was terrorizing Gotham earlier. And then the penguin eventually found out his name and his parents. He found out that his name was Oswald Cobblepot, and his parents were dead. And then he just went to their grave. Abe, yeah. And then yeah, he then told the people of Gotham a little bit about him, about that he, how he was abandoned when he was a uh, young and all that. Mm -mm. And then later on, something else that didn't make sense, as I've talked about before in a previous video, Max then <laughs> wanted the Penguin to run for mayor of Gotham because the current mayor of the city wouldn't approve of his power plant. And yeah, he brought down, yeah, he lured the Penguin down into the room where all his consultants and people were and while he was with a raw fish and Penguin was just eating that like an animal animal even in front of the people yeah. and then, yeah and then yeah as he was Max's consultants were talking to him and they were saying how unusual he looked and all and the penguin then said at least he doesn't have a bloody nose and then he 
bit one of the guy's noses, and the blood just gushing everywhere. And, oh, man, even now I still cringe at that. I just, oh. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, the penguin eventually has his circus gang cause a riot, and it made the, all the citizens of Gotham lose the faith in their current mayor, and then Batman eventually ends up stopping the riot. Right, and during the riot, Catwoman comes along, and she vandalizes Max Shrek's department store just to get some revenge on Max Shrek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And while we're on this, yeah, the next morning... Yeah, that same morning, when Selina showed up for work, Max Shrek didn't really seem that shocked about Selina surviving the fall. He, at first, he was kind of stunned. He was like, Selina, 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 and all that. But then he just eventually got over it, just said if she blackmails him, he'll push her down a higher window. It's like, really? Alright, so, yeah, anyway, back to this, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah. Then, yeah, there was a confrontation between Batman and the Penguin. Penguin, and then, yeah, Catwoman then appeared, and she blew up Max Shrek's store. And the Penguin ended up escaping, and then, yeah, Batman and Catwoman had a... were having a fight with each other, yeah. And then, eventually, Batman then shoved her off a rooftop, and Catwoman ended up just landing into a litter box, and she was saved by the, that litter box that was in a truck, yeah. And then, yeah, the next day, Penguin and Catwoman were trying to come up with a plan on how to kill Batman and stuff, yeah. And throughout the movie, we have, like, an attempted relationship going on between Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle. This love, yeah, the love in this movie just seemed kind of just an average love story, yeah. I'm not really going to talk much about that in this review. Yeah, then the Penguin and Catwoman eventually kidnap the Ice Princess, who was... Like, chosen to turn on the Gotham City Christmas tree. And Batman was being framed for it. And, yeah, Batman eventually ended up finding the Ice Princess, the Catwoman, and took the Ice Princess to the rooftop. And the Penguin then released a swarm of bats, which caused the Ice Princess to, like, walk backwards and then fall off to death. And then, yeah, everybody thought that Batman w was responsible for it. But yeah, but eventually Catwoman rejected the Penguin's advances, and then yeah, it, Penguin was trying to kill Catwoman, but Catwoman ended up escaping. And then yeah, Penguin also ended up getting control of the Batmobile after he put some kind of, like, overriding device on it or something. And yeah, Batman eventually, he realizes that Penguin has control over it, and then Penguin was just, like, making the Batmobile, like, like, not care about what was in the way. He just kept having it go, and it, like, it whacked a police car once, and then, yeah. That man eventually ended up taking the device off. And he regained control of it. And, yeah, the cops were still chasing him, and then he ended up escaping after, like, kind of, like, reducing the size of the Batmobile by taking some of the stuff off. Yeah. Man, and then during that, during that attack, Batman actually ended up recording thing, the, what the Penguin was talking about doing to Gotham. And then, yeah, during thing, Oswald's, Oswald's acceptance speech for mayor, here, Bruce Wayne was then playing that over the sound system. And then, yeah, it made everybody turn against the Penguin. And when, yeah, they were just booing him and throwing stuff at him, and, yeah, the Penguin just ended up running off, and then, yeah, the cops tried to chase after him, but Penguin ended up escaping, and then, yeah, he went back to his hideout underground, and then he decided to kidnap all of the uh, firstborn sons of Gotham. Gotham, and, yeah, during Mac a party by Max Shrek, the Penguin then, and crashed the party and said that said what he was doing and yeah he was gonna take max son chip but yeah max told the penguin to just take him instead so the penguin ended up doing that 
and he had them locked in a cage, and then yeah, Batman ended up saving all the all the other sons. Yeah, and then it made Penguin and decide to execute to try an alternate plan by destroying Gotham with his Penguin army, and then Batman ended up stopping that too by luring penguins and back into the sewer base. And yeah, Batman ended up like fighting with the penguin for briefly and then yeah, he eventually after the penguin like like he set off something on the his actual penguins. Yeah, and ended up like having a bunch of bats fly over him and a bunch of missiles were launched and yeah, it ended up like just making the like pushing the penguin into the sewer water, and yeah, Max Shrek then eventually escaped the cage, and then yeah, Catwoman then appeared, tried to kill him, but Batman ended up stopping, and then yeah, at this point Batman knew that Catwoman was Selina Kyle, and then he actually unmasked and revealed himself to Selina, but yeah, this was the this was something else that I mean, are we really supposed to like what was up here? Yeah. Yeah, first before he unmasked, there was the shot with him where, yeah, he actually did have kind of like the eye shape, or, or whatever, or like around his, around his, like, eyelids that are in his eye holes. Well, but in the shot where he actually ripped it off, there was none of that. Yeah, I'll probably, like, I'll try to find, like, an image of that and put it in the description box because, yeah, it just is, yeah, I mean, like, really, it just makes you think, like, where did it go? And then anyway, yeah, then, yeah, once Max saw Bruce Wayne was Batman, he then shot him, knocking him out, but didn't kill him. And yeah, he tried to kill Selina, but yeah, her being Catwoman, she claimed that she still had six lives left, because she, he killed her, and then Batman killed her, and the Penguin killed her, so she still had six left. And then yeah, he ended up shooting her a few times, and then yeah, Catwoman then or Selina, then actually gave, like, an open mouth kiss to Max with the stun gun, and in between their mouths, and yeah, she also broke an electrical wire, and then yeah, that caused a, caused a big explosion, which supposedly killed the both of them, and yeah, Batman, or Bruce Wayne, found Max's dead body, but he couldn't find Selina's, and then the Penguin then, came back from the water, but he was like choking on his own blood from his internal injuries from his fall, and then he just fell back down to the ground dead. And then all the Emperor Penguins like grabbed his body and then just dragged it into the sewer water, which was considered his resting place. And then later on, Alfred was then driving Bruce back home, and then Bruce spotted Selena's black cat, Miss Kitty, around, and then yeah, he ended up taking her with him, and then, yeah, him and Alfred said Merry Christmas to each other, and then, yeah, it, the movie ended with showing the bat signal, and, yeah, it showed Catwoman seeing it, so she was still alive. Yeah, but I don't see why they had to do that, because Catwoman didn't even come back for Batman Forever or Batman and Robin, so, yeah, what was the point of that? So, yeah, but still, it was still a real good movie, like, 3.25 stars out of 4. Alright, so that does it for my review of Batman Returns. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, even though this really didn't have a lot, really didn't have anything to do with Christmas at all. But yeah, like I said, the reason I wanted to review this is just because it did take place around Christmas, and so yeah, that's why I wanted to really review this. So yeah, alright, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.